Good morning. Hey, buddy. If you ever need something to do with these, instead of throwing them away, they're really good for homemade face masks. I really need to invest in a good metal straw. I know this probably just kills some people and it bothers me every time I use a plastic straw too. But my ex gave me back my metal straw and I don't know where he put it. So I really need to just go out and buy another one. All that's in this smoothie is um, coffee protein powder, chocolate protein powder, um, a scoop of peanut butter, chia seed, banana, and um, oatmeal. I used to drink this every single morning and I'm just getting back to it. It's really good, but man, it's, it's thick today. So I'm really struggling to drink it. I'm gonna go shower before I film anything else. So guess what I'm making? Probably have no clue because you don't know anything about me. But if you did guess sweet potato buns, then you win. What did you win? Well, nothing. But aren't you satisfied with yourself? Okay, <laughs> enough of my stupid banter. Let's, uh, let's make these buns. I took the initiative to um, make oat flour because anytime I want to Anytime I want to bake, it uh, I don't have any, and then I'm just like, well, I'm too lazy, so finally took that extra step. So we're going to see if oat flour actually works, and uh, if the dough rises, because I've been wanting to do this for two months, but I am the biggest procrastinator. Adding the magic ingredient, yeast. I want to use oat flour just because I want to start adding more nutritious things and just like basically just eating white flour. We all like bread. <laughs> but I want to make it a little more nutritious. I'm gonna need some flax seed and chia seed into it just to uh, give it some healthy fat. Anyone wanna bet this is gonna go everywhere? Oh my gosh. I don't think things through like ever. I never think things through. But, oh, I may have spoken too soon. It's working. So putting that to the side, um, I like to bake every other day. I bake. A lot more than the average person any chance I get really because that's one of my biggest interests and hobbies I always enjoy making new recipes even if they don't work out it's a step closer to what you want but anyways I have a lot more to do today I'm gonna run to the bank while I wait for that dough to rise it's actually really rainy and miserable loud but that's okay because that gives me an excuse to wear baggy clothes this was my grandma's sweater and oh, I just love it. It's so comfy and warm and just grandma vibes. But I have to go to the bank because I actually bought a new camera that's specifically for filming because this one I'm using is not actually mine and I feel really guilty for holding on to it so I'm gonna return it and I finally went out and bought a new camera for myself and now I have to pay my dad back <laughs> so we're running to the bank. nice pretty colored money but they gave me generic green <laughs> actually owe my dad way more than this but I exceeded my limit pray for being responsible it's okay though I honestly love walking to the bank it's a highlight of my day because I'll just dress super comfy listen to music I usually go at night my street smells like lilacs in the spring 
It's so peaceful. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I need to change. Um, does anybody else have multiple wardrobes throughout the day depending on your mood? I feel like everybody's actually like that. And what I just said was not unique in any sense of the word. But anyways, I'm gonna go change for the third time today and we're gonna go donate some blood. Turns out I can't actually donate blood yet because let's just say my youth and bad mistakes. <laughs> so give it another couple of months and um, I will be a blood donator. I've changed again. Are we surprised? No. I'm really sad that I couldn't donate blood actually. I only have to wait a little bit longer, but it's something that I really just want to do for other people. Guys, please go donate blood. There is no excuse unless you are not eligible to donate. It could literally be a life or death situation for somebody. And it costs you nothing other than your blood. Your body will make more. There's some people who can't. You don't need anything in return. Just the fact that you're helping somebody should be enough. Please go donate blood. My buns turned out really good. Oh, I'm so happy they actually did rise with the oat flour. If you make bread, I probably sound so dumb, but like I honestly just didn't know if, if it would rise the same way with normal flour. And they actually taste so much better than just white flour. So I was so happy. Oh god, those buns are just so dangerous. I would eat an entire batch in one day, like honestly. I would. I love them. <laughs> honestly, my evenings aren't anything exciting. Once I get back from work or, you know, just in general around the time like six o'clock rolls around, I basically just sit and watch YouTube or I do some editing. So it's nothing too wild. It's very laid back. I like my days to be super busy and active and then I just like to have time to myself to just unwind. So I'm gonna do some editing. What I do on an average day pretty much, other than donate blood, but hopefully that will become an average day kind of thing for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, I appreciate it, and I will see you soon. Bye!